Dumalungdong is a higaunon spiritual way of resolving conflict, be it economic, spiritual, social, cultural, and or environmental in nature. Done through personal exchange of ideas, in-depth discussion, and thorough consideration of governmental policies and tribal laws and beliefs, it becomes an avenue for tribal leaders to squeeze out and articulate to the political system their grievances, disagreements, sentiments, support, and cooperation. An ancient practice where power, authority, and influences are highly recognized, gender roles well emphasized, and the place of celebration considered sacred. Dumalungdong is participated in by representatives from the eight Talugans or the major cultural settlements of the Higaunun tribes. Participants from different Talugans proceed to the Tulugan or the tribal house where the head of the group performs the Pangagda ritual through dasang or chanting. The Pangagda is a courteous gesture of informing the host of the activity of one's presence and purpose of the visit. In a cultural parlance, the Pangagda has deeper meaning for the tribe. The chanter declares the group's presence, interest, and commitment and seeks permission from the host to participate in the activity. The Pangagda ritual also traces the genealogy and cultural lineage of the participants. It identifies whether they are from the Dinawatan, the trusted members, Mandagbol, the law implementers, Alimaong, the security forces or the tribal warriors, or from the Ininay Inamay or Limbubungan, the mothers and fathers of the tribe.
Generally, the chants express appreciation of the whole setting of the celebration, the tulugan and the participants, a narration of the origin of each group of participants follows. In his pangagda, the dato states that the group comes from the alimaong. In the child's chant, he states that he comes from the Mandagbol class. Then, both the Dato and the child relate to the whole Higaunan tribe the responsibilities of their origins. Oh, 